The hemocube glucose 201 plus is a system for the determination of the total amount of glucose in whole blood. The system consists of a specially designed analyzer with specially designed micro cuvettes containing dried reagent. The micro cuvette serves as pipette, reaction vessel and as a measuring cuvette. No dilution is required. The glucose measurement takes place in the analyzer, which follows the progress of the reaction and presents the result only when the end point of the reaction has been reached. The system is factory calibrated according to a wet chemistry glucose dehydrogenase method using hemolysis and deprotonization. Neither the analyzer nor the micro cuvettes can be replaced by another brand. The system can be controlled on the days of use or according to local recommendations with whole blood, hemolysate or other controls. To obtain reliable results only use controls recommended by HemoQ. This film provides the basic instructions for routine use. For further information read the operating manual and package insert for the HemoQ Glucose 201 Plus system. The HemoQ 201 Plus analyzer and its mains adapter are delivered in a carton. Open the carton on a stable surface and lift out the instrument and accessories. If mains power is available, connect the adapter to the socket on the back of the analyzer. If mains power is not available, insert the four AA or R6 batteries into the battery compartment. If a battery symbol appears on the display, the batteries are running low the analyzer will continue to give precise and accurate results but the batteries should be replaced as soon as possible. Rotate the cuvette holder out to its loading position. Press and hold the left button until the display is activated. The display shows the version number of the software program after which it will show an hourglass and GLU. During this time the analyzer is performing a self-test which automatically verifies the performance of the optronic unit. After 10 seconds the display will show three flashing dashes and the HemoQ symbol. This indicates that the analyzer is ready for use. The micro cuvettes are available in vials or individual packages. Store the micro cuvettes in a refrigerator. Use the micro cuvettes prior to their expiry date. The expiry date is printed on each package. Once the seal is broken, the micro cuvettes are stable for 30 days when stored in a refrigerator or three days at room temperature. Always keep the vial properly closed. It is recommended that the date of opening be written on the vial. Each individually packaged micro cuvette is stable until the expiry date when stored in a refrigerator since only one package is opened at a time. The individually packaged micro cuvettes can also be stored for three days at room temperature. Make sure that all the supplies are to hand.
After startup, the cuvette holder should be in its loading position. The display will show three flashing dashes and the HemaQ symbol. Make sure the patient's hand is warm and relaxed. Clean with disinfectant and allow to dry. Use only the middle or ring finger for sampling. Avoid fingers with rings on them. Take the micro cuvette out of the package. If a vial is being used, close the lid immediately. Using your thumb, lightly press the finger from the top of the knuckle towards the tip. This stimulates the blood flow towards the sampling point. For best blood flow and least pain, sample at the side of the fingertip, not in the centre. Whilst lightly pressing towards the fingertip, prick the finger using a lancet. Wipe away the first two or three drops of blood. Reapply light pressure towards the fingertip until another drop of blood appears. When the blood drop is large enough, fill the microcuvette in one continuous process. If the cuvette is not completely filled, discard it and fill a new cuvette. Do not refill. Wipe off any excess blood from the outside of the microcuvette tip, making sure that no blood is drawn out of the microcuvette during this procedure. Look carefully for air bubbles in the filled microcuvette. If any are present, discard this microcuvette and take a new sample. Small bubbles around the edge can be ignored. Place the filled microcuvette in the cuvette holder. This should be performed within 40 seconds after filling the microcuvette. Rotate the cuvette holder to its measuring position. During the measurement, an hourglass will be shown on the display. After between 40 and 240 seconds, the glucose value of the sample is displayed. The result will remain on the display as long as the cuvette holder is in the measuring position. When operating on battery power, if the analyzer is not used, it will automatically switch off after approximately five minutes. Although all the reagents are present in the microcuvette in extremely low quantities, local environmental authorities should be consulted to arrange for proper disposal. Always handle blood specimens with care as they might be infectious. To turn off the analyzer manually, press and hold the left button until the display reads off and becomes blank. When venous or arterial blood is used, appropriate anticoagulants in solid form, for example EDTA or heparin, and glycolysis inhibitors, for example sodium oxalate, sodium fluoride or potassium oxalate may be used. To minimize the effect of glycolysis, measure the blood sample as soon as possible after it has been obtained. Mix the blood collection tubes well on a mechanical mixer for at least two minutes or Invert the tube 8 to 10 times by hand. For the correct use of liquid controls, follow the instructions of the manufacturer of the control material regarding storage, mixing and handling. Place a drop of blood or control material onto a hydrophobic surface, for example a plastic film. 
using a pipette or a specifically designed transfer device. Fill the micro cuvette in one continuous process. Do not refill. Wipe off any excess blood from the outside of the micro cuvette tip, making sure that no blood is drawn out of the micro cuvette during this procedure. Look carefully for air bubbles in the filled micro cuvette. If any are present, discard that micro cuvette and take a new sample. Small bubbles around the edge can be ignored. Perform the analysis.